Hello, hello everyone. How are you all today? I hope you're well. Okay, so we are playing the Tiny Town Challenge today. And we have got Mortimer McGough, <laughs> as always. <laughs> he's not in a good state, but I think, like, in the last episode he was unwell, so I think he's gotten better, which is fine. Now, if you aren't familiar with the Tiny Town Challenge, this is a challenge that was created by Deligracy, and the idea is that there's seven different lots. Robot Velvet? Oh, I've done it. Thank you. Okay, hopefully that's better. Hydrate? Oh, okay, thank you. I do need to drink a water. Hey, Vivi, how are you this morning? <laughs> um, if you're not familiar with the Tiny Town Challenge, basically you've got seven lots and you've got seven sims and you kind of play them in rotation and you sort of randomly choose, you can randomly choose which sim you're going to play and Deligracy is set up with uh, the seven sims that you can play or you can make your own. And you've got to build like a tiny town, like a tiny house on, sure you can come over there, Bella, on each of the different lots. So at the moment, we are playing with, who are we playing with? Uh, Beatrice Jam. So each of the characters have different ways of making money. And Beatrice Jam can only make money via baking or cooking. So that is what we're working on at the moment. I am good. I am like actually quite cold, <laughs> if I'm being honest. It's like really cold, but I think it was like three to de three degrees or something this morning. So I'm I'm cold, but I'm snuggled under a blanket. The heater is on. Sabio is curled up by the fire, so hopefully he's not going to be a little rascal today. And yeah, no, and it's Friday, so I am a happy little camper. But I'm glad you're well must be uh, early in the morning for you I think so what we might do with Beatrice so Be what is Beatrice how is Beatrice getting on so Beatrice is actually okay so let's maybe get her to go to the fertilizer so we are trying to sell some of these uh, some of this cooked goods on our uh, our sales stand so that's kind of how we're going to be making money so I really want to get into the point <gasps> you know what we need to be cooking um Oh, my power's been shut off. <laughs> I forgot about that. The bills. <gasps> oh, no. Because, like, our bills are, like, 2,919. I forgot. <gasps> oh, no. Hey. Hi, Galaxy Kitty. How are you today? I hope you're well. Thanks for coming over. I appreciate that. Um, Galaxy Kitty is a buddy of mine over on uh, on TikTok, so thank you. You also want to do this challenge, but not yet. It's it's a lot of fun. I am absolutely loving it. It is really really fun. Uh, <laughs> I'm currently what am I? One, two, three. I'm on the fourth character so far, so I've still got three more characters to play after this one. My <laughs> my my lot's kind of like trash. It's really not good. Um, I've had fires. I've had cheating and, you know, all sorts of things. So, yeah. You're tired? What time is it for you? Is it late? It's uh, like 9 a.m. for me. So, yeah. You have been building your 100 baby challenge home and it took you almost four hours. It looks good, though. Oh, cool. The 100 baby challenge is so much fun. I do that over on my YouTube channel. And I am currently up to, I think, about 20-odd babies. So I'm, you know, a little ways in, about a quarter of the way in. And it's lots of fun. It's really hard, though. Ooh, we found a huckleberry. 11 p.m. Oh, that's past my bedtime. <laughs> I normally sleep, I go to sleep quite early. But, you know, I've got a couple of kids and I get up quite early. So <laughs> that's, that's what happens when you uh, live that mum life, right? <laughs> you're only at 10 yeah oh well you've got a ways to go but hey we will get there it is such a fun challenge i was sort of going over the rules a little bit with the with the 100 baby challenge and realized like some of the rules i haven't been following that well <laughs> like um if you have growing together if you have the an infant that has the 
unhappy infant uh, trait, then, you know, you're supposed to lose from that. And I have not really done that because I have, like, had quite a few infants that have the unhappy traits. So, yeah, I'm, yeah, probably not doing all that well with the 100 baby challenge. But, hey, I'm carrying on. Oh, we found a dragon fruit. Oh, that's something we can maybe plant and sell. Like, maybe we can plant and sell some of these ingredients because we're okay to sell ingredients. So I'm thinking maybe I plant some of this stuff and this can be like our ingredients because we can like make dragon fruit pie. There's like a dragon fruit pie or something that you can make, which is quite cool. But we can sell the individual dragon fruits too. Valerian root. I'm just going to sell that because we can't do anything with that. So let's go plant all those. That's cool. <laughs> you will do your own type of challenge yeah i think i'm i'm just kind of doing the the basic sort of side of it where you're gonna gonna take care of the take care of the kids and have all the babies i think that's that's more than enough for me like getting down into like the nitty-gritty rules and stuff is just like it's a bit much it's too many rules for me i'm not very good at following rules as it is so like you know <laughs> all the little rules are kind of like no I can't do it. Oh, we found some more cake. Oh, shoot. It's a thunderstorm. That's not ideal. That's not ideal at all. Because um, I kind of want to have a food sale. But... I don't know how... how... You know what? Let's do a food sale. And we can see whether or not anyone gets hit by lightning. That'll be fun. How are we feeling? Maybe we could have a nice shower in the rain. <laughs> like a little nudie shower. We're going to shower in the rain. Oh, you can look at the bright side as well. Uh, shower in the rain. There we go. That'll be fun. So what our goals are, I think, today with Beatrice is that we want to try <laughs> and pay our bills. Ah, she's naked. <laughs> you don't like thunder? I don't mind thunder. Um, my, my cat doesn't like thunder. Are you just going to stand there and watch me <laughs> shower? <laughs> As you're. Oh dear. Oh, what are you getting a phone call? Hi, Morty. Mila Munch. Yo, Jo Yo Sinwan and I had a just had a blast together. Thank you for your advice. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad. And you know what? Morty still hasn't made a move on on Beatrice yet, so we're gonna wait for that to happen. Because you know Morty, he's gonna make a move on absolutely everybody. Okay, so are you clean? I think so. So let's maybe go and start a food sale. She's having a very long shower out there. But hey, taking advantage of... Oh, she's too uncomfortable to tend the table. Darn it! What's the problem? Unbelievably filthy. Yeah, okay. And from bad surroundings. <laughs> it's because I'm trying to sell all this rotten fruit. You know what? I might get Mortimer to come over here. And open up all these gifts. Mortimer. And, you know, it is pouring with rain, so that's not ideal. And we have all these little fur piles over here, which I'm going to put in the dumpster. Because, hey, then we can do some more dumpster diving and get some more food that we can sell. Rotten food. Come buy my rotten food. You will love it. It's delicious. Still can't tend the table. I need to get her mood changed. Hmm. They're just kind of singing in the rain. They're singing in the rain. They're singing in the rain. Stop taking all my food. What a wonderful feeling. Something I don't know the words. Death by old food. <laughs> yes, probably. Hi, Anishal. How are you? How are you today? <laughs> we are trying to sell some old food, but we are um, not in a very good mood. So I can't actually tend the table at the moment. We are playing the Tiny Town Challenge by Deligracy. So we have currently built three houses. They're ugly as, but they are houses nonetheless. And uh, we are currently working on our fourth house with the lovely Beatrice Jam, who can only make money by selling baking and food. So that is what we're doing at the moment. There's just been a thunderstorm, but it's just finished. So I'm hoping that maybe somebody's sleeping in the pea bush. Oh, it's Azure. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> you just sleep in the pea bush. That's fine. Not a problem. Uh, you know what? We can actually probably get rid of that cooler because we don't need that. So we can sell that. That can go towards our bill fund. We, so we do have a slight problem in that we have $2,919 worth of bills. And I don't have the money <laughs> to do that. Let's look at the bright side. Oh, maybe that'll change our mood. That'll be good. Uh, now, I am fine. Oh, we've completed the feathers collection. Oh, good on you, Morty. Really need to change your mood. Um, how can we change that? She's really grossed out. Oh, maybe that's... Yes, we can do it now. We can do it. Uh, I'm good. I'm like cold. Because <laughs> it is really cold outside. But other than that, I am good. Because it's Friday morning here. I'm a happy little camper. Because I love a Friday. And I'm here yeah, playing Sims. So, you know, that's going to be good. You're going to go sleep now. Have an amazing... Oh, thank you. Thank you for popping along, Galaxy Kitty. I appreciate that. And um, you have a good sleep. I hope you have a really good sleep. And enjoy your Friday when it comes around. Thank you for coming along. I am trying to tempt people to buy my delicious rotten food. So what have we got that's the most expensive? Uh, a dog bone meat pie. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if they're going to buy anything, but hey, let's try it. Because, you know, we're going to make a little bit of money. Hey, Kyle. It's Kyle Kyleson. Yay. Come on, guys. Oh, poor koala cat. Yay, they're buying things. Come on. Come buy my beautiful food. It's stinky, stinky food. Mmm, you're going to love it. It's delicious. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Look at all those beautiful scent moths. <laughs> They're green. Green is good, right? Green is good. Okay, stop talking to her. She's interrupting our sales pitching. We've got some sales pitches to, to give. Some food to sell. Focus, focus. Come on. You're going to love it. Promise. It's, it's better than it seems, I promise. Come on, guys. We've got some bills to pay. I need you to buy some food, man. Yes, another 24. This is great. We're up to 528. So we're not doing too badly. We've sold like a couple of hundred worth of these rotten food items that we found on the dumpster. <laughs> so that's nice. I love selling dumpster food. Is it weird? That I love selling dumpster food. I think it's probably weird, but I just find it so entertaining. Like, you find all this free food in the dumpster, and then you sell it, and you make money. There's just something, I don't know, there's something fun about that. <laughs> but then again, I absolutely love dumpster diving in The Sims 4. I don't know why. I'm probably one of those people that would love going to the rubbish, the rubbish dump and, like, finding all this cool free stuff. And being like, yeah, free stuff. Maybe. Maybe that's just a bit gross in real life, but it's fun in, like, The Sims. <laughs> oh. Dear, oh dear. There's something wrong with me. Come on, guys. Come buy my stuff. You're going to love it. Like, like, look at all this delicious stuff. I should probably make some, like, some fresh stuff. Oh, you know what? What is in my... Hang on. Do your sales pitches. I need some space in my inventory. Oh, the food sale's almost over. Oh, Clara, you don't want to buy my stuff? Charisma level 5, entrepreneur skills level 2, $72. I thought we made more than that. Oh, well. Okay. You know what? I am going to open this up. And, oh, someone's taken all my fruit salad that I had in there. I made some salad. Okay, what can we make that's going to be super cheap that we can sell? Because we don't have any power at the moment, so there's a real lack of things that we can do. <laughs> but maybe we can make like a big fruit salad. And we can sell that. Because that's only going to cost us seven. And we're going to just like sell it for a 300% markup. And the more 
uh, where charisma we have, the more likely we are to be able to sell things as well. So that's a bonus. We're probably going to have to have a sleep soon, but that's okay. I might try and run another food sale. No, I definitely don't want you to be squeamish. Not with all these stinky foods around. That's going to be an absolute nightmare. Oh, she might have to have a sleep before we do anything. Hey, Morty! Hey, Morty, why don't you talk to Beatrice? Ask a risque question. Propose crazy scheme. Complain about bills. Yeah, complain about the bills. Oh, it's Harvest Fest. Oh, I forgot. Talk about the thunderstorm. Another thunderstorm. It is really bad weather here. Oh, it is, it is fall, I guess. Or autumn, as I like to call it. <laughs> At least we don't start fires. Yes. What? Yes. No fires. I wouldn't start a fire. What are you talking about? I would never do that. Never, ever. Stress about lost time. Apologize. These guys aren't getting along. I don't even think we could get these guys to get married. Ugh. They are not getting along at all. Okay, let's put that in there. And then we might have a sleep. Yeah, we'll get a sleep. And hopefully she'll be in a better mood in the morning. Because, you know what? Mortimer has really peeved her off. <laughs> Like, they are not getting along at all. Oh, Harvest Fest was awful. Yeah, I forgot about Harvest Fest until the last minute. Of course I did. Okay, so while Beatrice is having a sleep, let's check in on Morty. So he's cutting it close from shaving. Oh, he nicked himself shaving. <laughs> oh, poor Morty. He was sick, but he just appears to be okay now so yeah i guess he healed himself good on him we were gonna leave him to die <laughs> but i guess he survived so that's okay maybe he could give leah a bath i don't even know where leah is oh leah came back because leah like ran away and leah's come back now so that's good she keeps on pooping on all the decks though so thanks for that leah appreciate that didn't Jared say you must pay the bills as his next move for you to do in the game? Yeah, he did. He did. Um, but I don't know. Did we establish that I could cheat that? Or what we were going to do there? I, I can't actually remember what the sort of the plan was with that. If we were going to cheat that or... Yeah, I mean, I would... I, don't know, I always feel bad about like cheating. It's like I've got myself into this mess, so I kind of have to get myself out of it. <laughs> that's always how I kind of feel about it, but that's okay. Uh, I, I, yeah, I can't quite remember if we did have to cheat it or what we had to do. Koala defeated a squirrel in Portapaw combat. Yes. I'm going to open that up and put that there before everybody steals my steals my stuff maybe we can make like another fruit salad and then we can have a nice sale okay so there we go do a little bit of cooking or we'll do a little bit of selling so i don't know what do you think vivi should we cheat the bills and get them paid or should i just continue continue on i mean because i did intend to pay the bills but i was just sort of waiting until i had enough money but if you think we should cheat the bills and pay them if you, that's how you're sort of interpreting jared's wish then that's what i will go with where are you off to no you gotta come here can't what's the matter with you now revolting bush this some oh maybe we should move the bush so we don't have to have that on the lot. That can be in our little community area with the burnt, <laughs> burnt barbecue and the shower and the cat food and stuff. <laughs> and grungy surface from a dirty object. Maybe we could clean that. There we go. You go clean that and then maybe you'll feel better. There we go. You go clean that. I don't know if, you, if the outside life is really for Beatrice. She doesn't seem like she's enjoying it. But she's happy now. Stop stealing all my food. Ugh. The Alto Water Company has shut off the water to your house. Pay your bills to get it turned back on. <laughs> okay. Fun. Give sales pitch. Give sales pitch. You know what? I'm, I reckon I can probably make enough money to pay the bills. 
I think I could. I think I can. I think I can. I'm the little train that could. <laughs> lock it. Can you lock fridges? Can you do that? Um, cook a pet recipe. Open. You can't lock fridges, can you? No. Not that I can see. Ooh, Morty's making us something though. So that's handy. I want my vegetables to grow, but that's okay. Come on, buy some stuff. Another 16. Give sales pitch. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Keep on buying those things, guys. I need to do some more digging around in the 16 for the fruit salad. Um, In the, you know, the, the bin thing. So we can get some more meals as well. Come on, guys. Buy my stuff. Buy my stuff. How much is a rain catcher? Uh, it's connected so you can wall it down. Wall is, wall is down as lock. What? A uh, rain catcher. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea, Vivi. Um, let's have a look. I don't understand what you mean by the wall is down as lock, but I will look for the rain catcher because I understood that part. So off the grid, let's have a look. 560 for a dew collector. Okay, good thinking. We can just like, um, we can just act like this is off the grid. Okay, go tend the table. We're not going to sell things if you're wandering around being a dingus. Come on. Sell the things. Convinced to buy a fruit salad. We need more expensive things to sell. Convinced to buy fruit salad. Convinced to buy fruit salad. Frank has gained the outdoorsy lifestyle. Well, that's good. Mortimer is um, not well. <laughs> I like how she's just standing there talking to him and he's like unconscious. It's like, what are you doing? Come on, guys, buy some more stuff. Mama needs to make some money, man. No, I don't think feel like she's convincing to buy. And also, where is my sales pitching gone? I want a sales pitch. Come on, guys. Buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my sweet, 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 sweet stuff. Because I want to get like a little Jew scrap collector thing. And we need another few simoleons for that. Although, should I... Hi, Marcel. I've called to inform you that your great great grand second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept? Um, yes. <laughs> I've got somebody! Hey! Hello there, Bills. I'm going to pay you. <laughs> sure, you can like pessimistic Sims. <laughs> yes, I paid the bills. Paid the bills. I mean, I could have done the whole marriage thing, but hey, who wants to muck around with that? Beatrice is sucking at the selling thing. But we've paid our bills. That's a good start. So that means, oh, we can probably make some cakes and stuff. Um, It's wedding cakes, right? Oh, I think I need to have the gourmet skill. Canning. Hmm. So what... Where's the gourmet skill gone? Maybe I don't have a high enough cooking level, maybe? Is there anything that I can make that has ingredients and can save some money? Ooh, a bibinka. Let's make some of that. Where did all my money go? Oh, <laughs> I just paid the bills. That's where my money went. Oh my god. <laughs> Goldfish brain. <laughs> Good lord. I am the worst sometimes. I question myself. Yay, people are buying things. The ghost bought things. Is that, I don't know, Tono Fan. I don't know who that is. I thought that might be Thorn Bailey there for a second, but it's not. Okay, let's finish the sale. I don't know. Leah is hungry. Where is Leah? Oh, poor Leah. Well, we made 148 simoleons from that sale, so that's a bonus. 
Um, Leah has food over there, so I don't know what Leah's problem is. Leah, sort yourself out, lady. Da, 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 da. Cook. Ingredients. What can we make with... Oh, tofu tacos. Let's make those. Make some of those. And we can uh, do some little bit of dumpster diving. Oh, you took my plate that I was going to put in the dumpster. Darn you. Why is everybody on my lot, though? Why can't they go, like, they've got houses. Why are they on my lot? Little rascals. Chippity chop, chippity chop. Oh, Morty's got a phone call. Maybe he's going to inherit some money. Uh, no, nope, sorry, we're not playing Mortimer. We are playing Beatrice. And she... Oh, there's something we can sell there. Where did that go? In there, I think. Okay, so we'll put that in there as well. And let's do a little bit of dumpster diving. Oh, there's lots of lots of stuff in here. So we can do some dumpster diving. Hopefully we'll get some more free meals and some ingredients. So that we can cook more things. Which is the idea. In the midst of a midlife crisis, Mortimer has decided robotics is his thing. <laughs> okay, Morty. Yeah, let's keep finding these meals. I love it. Oh, we found a stink bug. Keep diving for meals. Uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. Perfect. I don't care if you're dirty. You're going to keep going into the dumpster until I say so or until the dumpster's empty. Oh, we found some sweet corn pizza. Ugh. Honestly, that sounds like the worst thing ever. Like sweet corn pizza. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, not for me. Not for me. That's for sure. Blech. Like I don't mind sweet corn, but like on a pizza? Nah. I don't think so. Don't think that's for me at all. Uh, can we sell that? Yes, we can. What's that? Oh, pomegranate. Let's plant that. More ingredients. Thank you very much. What have we got? Brigadero. Yes. Finding so many goodies in here. We should probably do some like diving for deals and get some furniture and stuff, but I don't know. At this stage, I really want the money. What is that? Ooh. Some cake, and it looks like expensive cake. So, okay, so you can go have a shower now. Go have a shower. That's it. Go have a shower. You're stinky. There we go. And then we are going to have a food sale. Oh, did you just cook me some waffles too? Sweet. Can sell those. Thanks for that. Appreciate you doing that. Ah, oh, wool is down as lock. Hmm. I'm still trying to understand that, but that's okay. We will get there. We will have a sale. Let's see if we can make some more money. And I actually, you know, what I want to get into is the cake baking. So I'm just trying to work that out and how that's going to happen. Because I think, pretty sure that's like through gourmet cooking. But for some reason... Gourmet cooking is not coming up, and I don't know why. Okay, so reach cooking skill 5. Okay, so I do need to increase my cooking skill. Oh, she's too uncomfortable to tend the table. Darn it. Okay, fine. You're going to go have a sleep. It's, it's all good. You go have a sleep. While you're doing that, let's go and see... What is Mortimer up to? He's in his ex-wife's house. There's gnomes all over the house. That's fine. Uh, in that case, what is Opal up to? I wonder, like, can you still make money with the characters that you... Like, if I wanted to sell stuff for, with Opal, so if I wanted to sell some jewellery, could I sell jewellery still? And with Azure, can I still sell paintings with Azure? Hmm... I don't know the answer to these questions. I have many of the questions. What is Frank up to? Frank is, the, is having a sleep in a tent as well. Well, you guys aren't up to much. That's not very exciting. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I have many questions about the rules. Like, can I, can I still make money via that way? I don't know. It just kind of... It feels like, like once you've... Look at that house! That is disgusting. There's like rubbish all over this house. 
Um, it feels like once you've moved on from the character, you can't play that character really anymore. That's kind of what I feel like, but I don't know if that's accurate or not. I could be wrong on that. There's like broken things all over the place. Oh, I was going to get like a, um, a Jew collector, which I do want to do because that's quite handy having that. So, um, Opal's cooking level 6. Where did I move the bush here? So go fertilize the bush. Ah, oh, you peed yourself. Silly woman. Okay, well in that case, go have a shower. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of a cheat to... No, I want you to go have a shower. Go sing in the shower. Did she just get hit by lightning? <gasps> she just get hit by... Hop, yeah, she just got hit by lightning. Crud. I'm going to keep an eye on her. She's dazed. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, I agree. I feel like it's a cheat to win faster as well if you use the characters... Yeah, uh, that you have played to make more money. It, it does feel like a cheat. I'm not going to do it. I don't want to cheat. Oh, no. Koala's sick. Oh. <sighs> Koala. I'm going to have to make enough money now so we can take the cat to the vet again. Whose idea was it to have pets? Was it mine? Someone needs to stop me with my dumb ideas. <laughs> Come on, come buy my stuff. The storm is over. It is time to buy all of this delicious food. Like, there's actually some nice stuff here. There's some pumpkin spice waffles and some plain waffles and fish yakisoba. Uh, and there's some fruit salad. So, you know what? There's some actual yummy stuff here. I wonder... What was that noise for? There we Oh, she's remembering her embarrassing time when she peed herself right by the fertilizer bush. Because, hey, why not? Come on, guys. Buy my lovely, lovely food. It is delicious. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> I don't think Nyx was here either because she uh, usually misses this. She usually misses. Oh, she's too uncomfortable again. What's wrong with her? You going to have something to eat? Okay. Well, yeah, because uh, she usually misses a stream because she has uh, time with her hubby. So why don't you grab, collect your waffles and eat your waffles if you're hungry. What is with this rain? It is constantly raining. Okay, and we can eat a serving. Hopefully that'll put her in a good mood. Oh, yes, she's in a good mood now. We can tend the table. Yeah, baby. Uh, then how did they end up being named Koala and Leah? Oh, well, I do remember this. So we were in Bridgerton Bay for reasons. Uh, I think I was trying to find like collectibles. So then what happened was we found the dog Leah, who was already named Leah. So I couldn't help myself and I had to adopt Leah. Okay, the memory's coming back now. So that's what happened with that. So definitely my fault. And then what happened from there is that Koala was in chat and then she wanted a cat called Koala, so I got a cat called Koala. <laughs> so Leah was just like a find in the game and then, yeah, Koala was a, a, an addition. But I think we probably need to get rid of the cats and the dogs because we're not going to have room in the household for, for these guys at some point. So they might move out with like Mortimer, I think, a bit later in the in the challenge i think that's probably going to be happen we just have like the characters that are supposed to be in the challenge in the challenge because i mean we've got like mortimer and like the pets so there's not going to be room we've still got three more characters to add and we've got like seven people in the household so it's a problem ah oh, she keeps getting uncomfortable from eating poorly made food you made it <laughs> <laughs> oh good lord she needs like a little moodlet changer -er. oh maybe i should get the tea oh, i should just change her moodlets she's all over the place that woman come on buy the stuff buy the stuff mama needs money um i'm just wondering if there's 
always another way that we can make cash. I mean, I know we can sell the ingredients. So that's one way. I'm thinking maybe there's a possibility we can get like the cupcake machine. Because just her moods are a pain in the bottom. I've got to say, she is a pineful. Let's have a look. How much is a cupcake machine? <laughs> hey, koala. <laughs> I was not bidding you off, koala. I was just saying you made me get a koala cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi koala <laughs> so a cupcake oh 1200 for a cupcake factory oh that's too much money <laughs> oh we can sell that though it's amazing stop eating my food oh how can i stop them from taking all my food those horrible, horrible people. So yeah, so I am going to get rid of Koala and Leah, I think, at some point. Because <laughs> I just don't have room for the poor little fellas. Okay, Morty, what are you getting a phone call for? Bella Goff would like to come over. Yeah, Bella can come over. And Opal, what are you doing? I like how everybody kind of hangs out in the burned house. Although it kind of has the best TV, so that kind of makes sense. Oh, you know what? I might get that lump of clay and put it over here and then um beatrice can actually maybe get like inspired from the lump of clay put it in her inventory you know she can mush it around and get inspired it'll be all good so who else have we got so azure what are you up to everybody's kind of miserable oh we still need to take koala to the pet uh, to the vet oh my oh, poor koala she's all drooling and dizzy but i you know what, actually, let's take her to the vet now. Comfort Koala. Cannot travel while a situation is running. Oh, there's a food sale. Forgot that. Yeah, let's go take her to the vet. There we go. Off we go to the vet. To put me down, I know. <laughs> I didn't want to be the one to say it. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I would just make you move out of the house. That's all I would do. Just like move Koala out of the house. <laughs> it's like, get out. <laughs> be gone. Sign in Koala for caring. Look, I'm taking you to the vet. I'm taking care of you. I promise. It's all good. We will make you, we will make you better. It's fine, poor little koala. At least you haven't come back pregnant or anything, so that's nice. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, while we're here, we can use the toilet. And any other needs? No, nope, just need to go to the toilet. Otherwise, you're all good. Where is koala? Oh, there she is. Off you go to the vet. Go get your cure. Nobody spent any other money because I've only got <laughs> enough money to get the cat cured with a cheap cure. <laughs> and what is the difference between the cheap cure and the expensive cure? So it's just uncomfortable. So really there's no difference. It's just like you're just getting charged for the comfort of the pet. But is it maybe a moodlet thing? Does it give like a negative moodlet? I don't really get it. Oh well, we can go home. We've cured the cat. Huzzah! No, no, I get it. You could bin me off because I'm not around. <laughs> yeah, you caught me. I'm just going to bin you off because you weren't there and I thought, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that koala cat now. <laughs> not because I need room in the household. It's just because I just can. If I can, I will. <sighs> You're scared of the thunderstorms. This Beatrice is Beatrice is difficult. She's proving tricky. Come on, Beatrice. Let's sell us like some of this lovely red with yellow roses, two tiered round cake for ninety two simoleons. I mean, that is a lovely cake. I want to sell some of that. Actually, 
You know what? There's actually no rotten food on here. Bonus. So that's nice. Come on, guys. Come on. Got to sell some stuff so we can build a house and get rid of Koala and Leah. <laughs> what number spouse is Morty on? Morty is on... He's still on number three. No, number number four. So there's Bella, Frank, who's married twice. Um... Opal and Azure. So yeah, he's on his fourth marriage. He, he's not getting along with Beatrice at all, actually. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to manage to get him to marry to marry them. I'm going to have to put some work into their relationship because, yeah, they're really not getting on. Come buy some stuff. I feel like maybe a thunderstorm is not the best time to have a sales. Oh, someone bought the $92 one. <gasps> yes. Keep buying that cake because this is what I want to make and sell because that's where you really make excuse me um uh okay you just stand there and be naked it's fine don't worry about it but yeah Mortimer is on currently on wife number four on spouse number four but yeah he's really not getting along with Beatrice I do want to get them married but it might be a bit of work what is wrong with you? You terrified? Sales pitch. And just naked dude over there. Come on, we've got a naked dude. Come buy my stuff and like get a show. <laughs> I need more people to come along. Where are all the people? Come on, people. Here we go. More people. No! Don't take my don't don't you take my cake. Don't you take my cake. Ah. Don't you dare. No. No, no. Put that down. No. Ugh. Don't you dare take my $92 cake. You evil, evil, evil cow. Stop touching my cake. No. That is not happening. I swear it's her that is like taking away all my rotten food and getting rid of it. All the stuff that I want to sell. I think that's what she's doing. I want to, I want to, I want to kill her <laughs> is that wrong it's just like i want to i want to kill her as you actually you know what maybe i can lock her in the house what house can i lock her in? i'm gonna lock her in this house so why don't you go here and deep vacuum i keep you busy you go in there and deep vacuum off you go yeah fire Koala's discovered a fire. Oh no. Where is Koala? Uh oh. Um. Oh, damn it. Extinguish the fire. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> no killing. <laughs> um, you know what? I don't need to deliberately kill Sims because, <laughs> let's face it. I can accidentally kill them quite well. Put out the fire! Guys! No Leah, no Leah, no Leah, no Leah. No playing near the fire. No, no, no. Can you please extinguish it? Morty! Oh, good lord. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. There we go. Mortimer's our hero. He extinguished the fire. Good job. Well, we got 428 from that. Thanks. You were really, really not helpful, fire department. Thanks very much for not helping at all. Appreciate that. You know what? The fire department is just useless in this game. Anyway, how does the cat find it when she didn't make it? I don't know. I don't know how the cat found it there. No idea. Ah. So I've got two out of the three houses burnt at the moment. That's fine. Classic. Classic. Beatrice, where are you? So she's terrified. What am I doing out here? Afraid of the dark. Looming dread. That was too close from nearly being struck by lightning for the second time. Oh, no. Um, why don't we make ourselves something to eat? 
what can we have? What can we have? What can we have? Fruit salad. What other ingredients have we got? Bibbin cat. There we go. Make one of those. Stop haunting my waffle maker. Stop it. Just stop it. It'd be good, like, you know, actually, which would be really good. Yeah, koala. Um, the cat, the cat found the fire, but I don't know how the cat found the fire. So, I don't know, like, koala was like, found the fire. So, what does it say? Koala discovered the fire. So, I don't really know how, but she did. So, good on you, koala. Thank you very much for saving the day. You discovered the fire. I feel like we're getting along nicely with Frank, but we're really not getting along with Morty. Well, the food sale's complete. We made 92 simoleons. This is slow going, but hey, that's fine. We will get there. So grab a serving. Grab a serving. No? Can't reach it? Okay. Oh, it is not in the middle. But you put it there, so I don't know. <laughs> Yay! Alright, so you're having that to eat. Put that there. And then you can go have a sleep. I actually want to try and see if we can get her and Morty to get along. There we go. Oh, actually, you know what? I might get one of the characters to do some dumpster diving for me. Our buddy Morty. He can do some dumpster diving for us. And see if we can actually get some furniture that we can use. That would be handy. Because we've got to start thinking about a roof over our heads. Like a proper roof, not like a free roof that I've just got stuck over the lot. <laughs> and see whether or not we can actually start building our house. No, die for some deals, Morty. I don't care if you're dirty. I don't care. Go, go, go. Don't be priss. Don't be so prissy. Die for some deals. Get in there. Get in the rubbish. Get in the bin, you. Oh, we found a sofa, but I think that's a burned one. Recyclable materials. Come on, Morty. Find me something good, buddy. A counter? Probably burned. Ugh, upgrade part. You know what? I need a really nice, like, um, some more counters. Painting. Ah, oh, Leah's been sprayed by a skunk. Okay. That is fine. All good. What are you doing there? You're just making some waffles. Everybody's over at my station making waffles. I can't wait until I can build a house and keep everybody up. Uh, let's go into household inventory. What have we got? Burned. Small pile of dust. Oh, great. We can actually put that there and put that in the dumpster. And piles of fur. Put those in the dumpster. Oh, you know what? We've got a bed in here. We can use that. What else we got? We've got a computer. Um, can't really put that in at the moment. We've got a bircular. That's about it. And we've got a painting. Maybe that could go in here. Suits the vibe of that house. There we go. We've got a bed we can sleep in. So that's a bonus. Maybe we can sleep there and get rid of the tent. There we go. Sell the tent. ka -ching. Uh, now I'm going to drag, drag those in there. And then Morty can do a bit more dumpster diving. Dive for some deals. I really would like a nice fancy bed and maybe some more counters and like a better oven and stuff. Remember to save. Thank you. I will remember to save. Thank you, baby. Oh, I have a stretch while I'm there as well. Yeah, I added like a few more little things to there. I, I need to like think of some more things to do for like um, the channel points. But I, I, I was drawing a blank when I was doing it um, yesterday. So <laughs> that's as far as I got. I was like, what other fun things would be good for the channel points? Uh, we found a wooden lounger. I think that looks burnt. Uh, another double dirty double. Mortimer's jealous. Oh, we found three simoleons. Thanks, Morty. That's handy. And, oh, another 39. 
actually handy. Okay, well, you go do what you're going to do now. I'm over you. I don't think that you actually found anything good in there today. No, boom, 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 boom. Ah, all right. That's fine. How are we getting on there with our sleep? Not so good. But I'm going to put these waffles on here. See if we can sell those. I really need some... A bit of bed. <gasps> you know what we can get though? We can get a dew collector. Because that might actually help us with the bills. As well. Um... So maybe we can get like our little Jew collector. And that's all we can afford. <laughs> I was thinking like a solar panel as well. Jump scare redeems. Oh, I don't know how to do those. I'll have to look that up. But that's a good idea. Like <laughs> scare the pants off everyone. Uh, that's a good idea. That's fun. Everybody can have a good scare. What is this on the ground? Oh, okay. I'm going to put that in Morty's inventory. So, Mortimer, you're in a flirty mood. Great. Let's get you over. Oh, you're playful mood. Let's get you over and you can go and talk to Beatrice. Well, let's see whether or not we can get a little Beatrice Mortimer action happening. Let's go. Oh, it's winter. Maybe we'll get less thunderstorms. Maybe. Oh, look at her cute sleep outfit. Discuss favorite authors. Try to chat. Uh, saw, yeah, saw Nick. Yeah, it's a pretty cruddy bed, right? Okay, can I get these guys to get along? <laughs> I don't like my chances so far. She doesn't like her favorite books. Maybe if we talk about cooking, that might be dislikes discussing interests. Uh, no. Because that's going to be annoying. Talk about cooking. She just doesn't like him. Stop posting links. Did someone post links today? Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you, Nightbot. These guys are not getting along. I think Morty's run as a, you know, as a romantic interest for each of the characters it might be coming to an end because they are not getting along at all. <laughs> She's like, hell no. <laughs> Get away from me, creep. <laughs> they hate each other. Like, he's being really innocuous. There's nothing that he's saying that's particularly horrible. <laughs> Beatrice and Mortimer now despise each other. <laughs> they really are not each other's type. Really, really not. <laughs> they just hate each other. <sighs> oh dear, well. So much for my plan for Morty to marry everybody. I really don't think I can get these guys to marry. Leah is such a cutie. Oh dear. Okay, well. <laughs> I might move, move, uh, move Morty and the pets out and uh let them go and live their their best lives elsewhere because i feel like our little run with mortimer being our romantic interest really has come to an end oh such a sad time but he did he did well he married he married three out of the seven so that's not too bad but he's really not going to be getting on with beatrice at all um harvest all oh we got some potatoes and we can plant that so that's great we've got some more ingredients oh hey koala the cat hello koala oh she's a cutie she's so cute though isn't she little cute koala do you reckon we should marry frank oh do you think we should marry um like take uh move frank and mortimer out together that's an option too, isn't it? Like Frank and Morty like moving in together and stuff. Let's start a food sale so if we can make some more cash. Our next aim, I think, is to actually maybe start building some walls. Mortimer is handy for like um, 
digging through the trash though and doing like the menial tasks so frank and morty off into the sunset okay uh, how are we gonna do that let's just move them out free real estate and we can give them a nice house let's there's a oh we'll do that after the food sale <laughs> oh my god you're not even tending the table oh too uncomfortable skunky scent um maybe maybe we can just move the there's another flipping fire where's the fire oh in my house of doom frank's house is burning down frank's dead so he doesn't have to be here that's true he is dead um let's go and extinguish this fire what's with all the flipping fires honestly frank go put your go put your house out of yep yeah, go put the fire out frank don't call over the pets put that put out the fire no don't call out the pets it's the fire out okay now you can call over the pets clean the floor call over the pets and they can go hang out there and then we can not near the skunky scent you're scrubbing the bath okay that makes you feel better that's fine let's go and tend the table and actually try and make some money is that an idea super idea thanks Beatrice come on guys come and buy my sweet sweet stuff no tend the table <laughs> just tend the table <laughs> please just tend the table <laughs> oh I really do want to get like maybe the cupcake factory so that I've got an option for when she gets like this and you know stops tending the table and I can still make money via the cupcake factory thing okay stop the conversation I don't want you to chat with Sydney I want you to sell stuff come on sell some stuff sell some stuff oh she's driving me bananas Yes, yes. Oh, 120. What did I sell for 120? Yes. Come on. Sell, 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 sell. Uh, who are? Uh, I want you to. Yes. Convinced to buy. What's the 120 one? I don't even know. Oh. Sweet deal. Come on. Buy more stuff. Buy more stuff. I need to sell the stuff. Stop talking to these people. You're working here. Beatrice is a little chatterbox, I tells you. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. Have 10 broken objects on a Sims lot. <laughs> I've never had that achievement before. <laughs> awesome. There's a waffle. Oh, there is a waffle in here. Thank you. We will collect those waffles. This has been a decent sale. I need another. Uh, what did I need? Twelve hundred for the cake. Uh, the for the cupcake factory. There we go. Come on, guys. Come buy my stuff. Hello there, Felix Sided. Come buy my stuff. My lovely lovely stuff. Food sale complete. Two sixty. I think she needs to go pee so let's go to the pee bush and we can do that no not in the net no don't no, no, don't want a net hey there neighbor do i hear the sizzle or something broken <laughs> i think so i think everything is broken oh everything is broken nothing works um okay so we'll grab a serving of that that should get her in a better mood now what we're going to do oh we're going to move frank out that's right Frank and Morty and the pets. Sorry guys, you are now splitting from the household and moving out. We need to make space for our next characters. And you guys can go in and live happily ever after. Because I think we can no longer have... Where's Mortimer's moustache? He must have shaved it off. That's random. So you guys will go and live happily ever after. Yes, I want to continue. Yes, I want to do that. 
off we go. We're taking them off to live their best life elsewhere. I'm going to give them free real estate and I'm going to give them some cash. Um, now, where would be? I reckon we should go. Hmm, maybe we could go and live in Forgotten Hollow. That's kind of, no, no. that's all kind of full. Windenburg? Um, there's a nice house. You guys can go live there. Free real estate on. There we go. And you're going to move in there. There we go, guys. What a lovely house. I think they're so lucky. They're getting their nice future because they, you know, they, they, they played their part. They've done their job and now they're going to live with their lovely pets, Koala and Leah. Happily ever after. Here, you know what? We could probably actually almost sell everything in Mortimer's inventory and they would have a pile of money. Look at all this stuff in his inventory. Oops, not his wedding certificates. I don't even know what some of that stuff is. But anyway, 7,000. That's just stuff that he has basically found. Look at this. We've got a lovely house. Um, I will add and select some pet stuff. How do pets survive? Like, you know how some of the NPCs, like, adopt pets and stuff like that? Or they adopt horses? Like, how do they even survive? Because you, you can go and look in the house, and they don't have any pet stuff or anything like that. I'm guessing, like, you know, pets in the game don't really actually, um, when they're not played, don't have any needs. It's my guess. But I'm going to set this up so that like they're on a set schedule time of an hour and they should be all good to go. And maybe um, a pet pooper machine. Here we go. Laser pooper down here. Perfect. And then like we'll get Koala a nice little cat tower because Koala deserves a nice little cat tower, right? There we go. A little cat tower for koala and we'll do a nice little bed for Leah. Um, what about a nice white one? There we go. Nice little bed for Leah. Ah, they're gonna have such a happy life. So let's say bye to Morty and Frank and Leah and Koala. Mortimer without the Mo. <laughs> See you guys later. Let's go back to those other people. <laughs> yes, got to have those pet items in there. But yeah, I always wonder like how, you know, they you see this household and they clearly don't have like a stable or anything like that. And they adopt this, these horses and it's like, how are you feeding these horses? Yeah, now Koala can't say they went in a house without things. That's right. I have taken care of Koala and Leah and made sure that they had a happy household. They don't have any illnesses. They've got, you know, um, a two dads, which are absolutely lovely. Hey, it snowed while we were away. Look at that. <laughs> we've got it all white. So, yeah, we've got them having a lovely future. It's weird only having three people in the household, though. Okay, one more food sale and then we might wrap it up. Where is Beatrice? Ah, oh, too uncomfortable to tend the table. Go to the bathroom. Sweet, you look away for a minute and they just really can't take care of themselves. There we go. So now tend the table and we'll see about selling some stuff and then we'll wrap it up there. Because we want to make some sweet, sweet cash. I really do want to get that cupcake factory though. I think that'll be that'll be handy. I mean, it's not very exciting for making making money, but... At least it's a good way to make money when you're really not in the mood to sell. Which seems to be most of the time when it comes to Beatrice. 28 simoleons. Ka-ching! Convinced to buy. Uh, what about our pumpkin spice waffles? I don't really know what pumpkin spice is. We don't really have it here. Because I know like it's a thing uh, in America. Like, you know, around what of our Thanksgiving and stuff like that. They have like pumpkin spice coffees and stuff at Starbucks but 
I mean, I don't drink coffee, so maybe that's why, and I don't really go to Starbucks. But yeah, I don't really know what pumpkin spice tastes like. Like, I know what a pumpkin tastes like, but what's pumpkin spice? Is it like the spice that goes in like a pumpkin pie? Is that the sort of the spice with like the cinnamon and nutmeg and you know that sort of thing? It was delicious because I like I love pumpkin pies and I love the spice in pumpkin pies. So I feel like if that's what it is, then it sounds really delicious, you know. And it makes sense like pumpkin spice that it would be the spice that goes in like pumpkin pies and stuff. Mm. Oh, now I want a pumpkin pie. Too many Sims in one place. Is this max capacity? Is this now a fire hazard? What if the ground opens up? Maybe it's time for Opal to sneak out. Okay, she's got a fear of too many people. Not nutmeg. You get pumpkin with cinnamon. Okay. All right. Animation error. Hmm. That sounds delicious anyway. I like anything with cinnamon is good too. Okay. Oh. Too uncomfortable. Oh, man. Oh, I can pick up all these plates and put them in the dumpster. Maybe I can get some more dumpster stuff. Or a dumpster thing. The only thing I've got from the dumpster so far is basically that cruddy bed. Now, what else is the matter with her? She needs a hygiene. Whoop, whoop. Take a shower. Have a sleep. Ah, more plates here. Man, I just kind of feel like doing a challenge where I just do dumpster diving. I, you know what? I actually saw this challenge once that Deligracy did where she had to build a house just out of things that she found in the dumpster. Why are you sleep? Oh, that's Ash. No, wrong character. Um, and that was absolutely, I've actually played that myself. Not recorded or anything like that because it was a while ago. But yeah, it was heaps of fun. I would love to do that again. What is this? Lump of clay. Oh, it's a lump of clay. I thought it was a bowl, but it's a lump of clay molded into a bowl, <laughs> which makes sense. Um, yeah, so I think that would sound like a, yeah, eco pack. You're allergic to nutmeg, so you would have known. Oh, yeah, well, you definitely would have known. <laughs> you would have known if the, if the pumpkin pie had nutmeg, it, nutmeg in it, that's for sure. Oh, that's an interesting thing to be allergic to. I'm the only, <laughs> funnily enough, the only thing I'm allergic to is cats. <laughs> Like, just really super mildly allergic. Like, if I get, like, cat hair in my eye, like, my eyes start swelling up. Um, so, yeah, just kind of mildly allergic to cats. And I have to take allergy me medicine every day. <laughs> so, other than that, I don't actually have any allergies. But I love cats and I don't care. I'm going to have a cat. Don't even care if I'm allergic to them. Um, yeah, it's like, so yeah, you have your eco pack dumpster and you just like dive and dive and dive and yeah, you can like build, you can sell, you can sell stuff that you found from the dumpster and stuff and then that's going to fund like your walls, but you can only furnish the house with stuff that you find from the dumpster, which is a lot of fun because it's just like, what are you going to get from the dumpster? And then obviously you can only certainly, you know, dump, dumpster dive at certain times and that sort of thing. It's fun. Your friend carrot cake had nut. Oh, your friend's carrot cake had nutmeg, and that's how you found out. Ew, that's rough. That is rough. Yeah. Oh, poor friends. Poor friend. Probably freaked your friend out too. It's kind of like, um, what was wrong? Did so? Did you have like a big allergic reaction to it and stuff? I mean, I imagine you probably would have. Like it wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been a, a fun experience, that's for sure. Mm, allergic reactions never are though. My husband one time had, uh, went into anaphylactic shock from a hair dye, like he was dying his hair. This was back, in a back when he was a wrestler and um, he was bleaching his sort of bleaching his hair and stuff and yeah he went into anaphylactic shock from uh dying his from hair dye so needless to say he's never dyed his hair again but very scary this is uh we weren't together then but yeah it was pretty pretty scary stuff from what he's told me so yikes oh uh, imagine imagine how cold it is going and having like an outdoor shower right now <laughs> Your arms were, fit, were the first and it took three pills. Oh, wow. You poor thing. 
That sucks. Okay, I do want to just like try and sell a little bit more. I, I want to get a little bit closer to our thousand simoleon mark so that we can get our cupcake machine because I want to get like, you know, that 1200 simoleons. Because I want it. No, tend the table. I'm glad you're playful. Why are you playful from the ghost? From the ghostly giggles? From being near a playful spirit. Ah, I didn't know that was a thing. That's cute. <laughs> so you got a ghost giggling away and it makes you cheerful. Ah, that's cute. You ever come across that one before? He can dye his hair, just mustn't touch his skin. <laughs> the cousin is the same. She dyes her hair by someone she trusts. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it just scared the bejesus out of him and he never wants to go near hair, hair dye again. <laughs> Which I understand. Like, yeah, it's, he doesn't really need to dye his hair now anyway because he's not wrestling or anything anymore. But, yeah, I imagine uh, it would not be a pleasant experience. It would be enough to put you off dyeing your hair for, <laughs> for life. So I kind of get that. Come on, come on. Come buy my stuff. Mama wants to buy a cupcake factory. Yes, yes. Plus, I probably need to get my cooking skill up more, so I've got my gourmet. Look! Mortimer's come to the sale! Morty! Ha ha! Hey, Morty! You can buy all my stuff. You're, you're rich now. You've got 7,000 simoleons. Convinced to buy? Aw, that's so sweet that Mortimer came along. Another 12. Come on, guys. We're going to get nice and close to that 1,200 mark. Although, in saying that, it is Monday. We're about to get bills again. <laughs> we lucked out with the last lot of bills. I bet you I can't pay the next lot. Oh, well. Maybe we could, like, get up a cupcake factory and then we can start selling uh, cupcakes and stuff like that through that and then make, make enough money for our bills. I think maybe I'll go down that route. Morty, hello. Sales pitch. Come on, guys. Buy my stuff. Yeah, 800 simoleons. This is what we're talking about. You can do it, guys. You can spend all your money on my sweet, sweet goods. And they are sweet goods because it's a lot of waffles. And they're very sweet waffles. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Yeah, keep on spending. Money for more rain catches. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully this, like, actually helped with the bills as well. I mean, that would be good. Because, I mean, it's been sitting there catching the rain, so. Yeah, I hope so. Hmm. I wonder. Let's check the bills. Show bills information. So we got 687 to put tax breaks and penalties. Water, $4. So we've definitely reduced the amount of water that we're using. Lot taxes, 2 9 So <laughs> bills are going to be like 2700 <laughs> I need to, yeah, get more, more like sol solar panels in and stuff like that and really save on the old bills. Because that will help with like the later characters as well. So because we've still got three more characters that we need to play. So that would really help them out as well. I forgot those guys don't get along. Come on. Sales pitch, sales pitch. No, we're not going to chat with Joaquin. We just sell the stuff. Oh. Beatrice. Beatrice, where are you? No. Don't do that. Okay, go feed a bush. 252 simoleons. Okay, we did too well. We didn't do, I mean, we did all right. We did well. So I will wrap it up there. I am getting hungry and I want to go sit by the fire and have something to eat. So I am going to say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching, for hanging out. Uh, yeah, 2,755. <sighs> but that's okay. What we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to get a cupcake factory. Actually, while we're here, I'm going to move these plants around so that we can access them. Because we can sell the ingredients as well. So I need to remember about that because I keep on forgetting. So we'll get our cupcake factory and we can hopefully sell some like cupcakes and stuff like that. And I'm going to harvest those. 
and then we'll see where life takes us because I think that'll help a little bit having like the cupcake factory that we can actually use like in between times when she's in like a cranky mood and doesn't want to sell anything so I think we'll do that thank you so much for watching I hope you guys had fun and yeah it's going to be a bit of a different household now that we haven't got Mortimer and Frank and Koala and Leah but hopefully that'll reduce the vet bills <laughs> yeah we probably need to find like a little love interest for Beatrice hmm to think about that too Okay, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a good day and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.